Okay. What's up, my brother? So I know this is, um, it's a delay on the feed, y'all. So I'm a really, I'm a, I'm going to be very careful about the music I play. I'm, I'm going to be very careful about the music I play. Okay. Cause I don't want, even though it's on StreamYard, I'm going to be, hold up, very careful. All right. So come on, please hit the like button as soon as you jump on the feed. You know what's crazy? People be like, Cuzzo, you got to call me, fam. I'm in Philly, man. I've been trying to reach everybody, man. What's up? Yeah, I've been I've been home for a minute, brother. I'm leaving soon. So call okay, check. You know I don't listen, I don't even you know what? Hey, hey, cuz you gotta hit me because people be hitting me in my DM and I don't be wanting to hear from people. I'm people drain you, brother. I, so hit me up. So I'm on YouTube. So everybody come to YouTube also. Come to YouTube. So let me share something with y'all. Um, before we start, I gotta I wait for some more people to jump on the feed. Hey, this brother talking about setting up something for Saturday, man. If he can see <laughs> a hey, hotels calls, I just got a text message from ACAF. I don't know about Saturday, fam. <laughs> I don't know about Saturday. If you me. I just got a text message. Hold up. I can't make this up. Um, so please share this out right now on Facebook. Uh, I love these young brothers at the under uh, at ACAF in in Philadelphia, but um, I don't know if they can. I, and I don't know if y'all are familiar with ACAF, but this is the thing about our people, right? Bear with me one second. I just got a text message from my, my young brother at ACAF, right? He said, I'm trying to set up for Saturday if possible. But I don't know, people. Maybe y'all can help. I don't know if y'all familiar with ACAF. I don't know if y'all familiar with them. But um, I don't know. Maybe somebody want to be a sponsor and get something popping because he just hit me up this now about doing something at ACAF. You know, that's on 52nd Street, y'all, in Philadelphia. But this is the this is the thing, and I'm gonna open up the lines because I want my brother Carlos to come on the feed. Because let me share something with y'all, seriously, seriously. No one, and this is not bragging. This is not complaining. This is I'm dead serious. Anybody knows me, truly knows that I hold so much in. No, I'm not going to be, I may come back for a doom day, but I, I truly hold a lot of things 
and I'm talking to y'all. This may be the this may be a boring show for y'all, okay? Because this ain't gonna be free for all of y'all. It ain't gonna be yo. I'm gonna get this stuff from Sabir and do a video and repeat what he say to get paid off. Of. So this may be boring for some of y'all. So y'all might want to leave, okay? So go ahead. Y'all might want to leave. So the brother just reached out to me about ACAF, about doing something up there in, in, in West Philadelphia, ACAF, right? And um, the thing is that I was talking to brother Carlos. Shout out to my sister, Blue. Um, I was talking to brother Carlos, and Carlos beats me up. He beats me up. I'm on YouTube also. Carlos beats me up. And he say, brother Sabir, you got to think about your children, bro. Your children comes first, period. People don't give a fuck about you on YouTube. I'm just being real. I, I wish Carlos can get on here because I don't want, and I told, I hope Blue could get on here too. Because I want you to understand that when you hear Sabir Bay complaining about something, it's not me complaining because my heart is so like so pure that i want to help people but you can do but so much that people don't give a damn about you and i'm gonna be real i was sitting up and saying my daughter's birthday is great up this week next week and carlos was on the phone with me and he drilled me brother i'm gonna I'm show y'all what he just sent me so come on i'm gonna show y'all what carlos just sent me bear with me i'm not doing so don't please don't email me he's talking about i got a suggestion unless it's a lecture Please don't. This is my son calling me right now. Yo. Yeah, I'm in the room. All right. Don't worry about it. I'm live right now. All right. So that's so funny that my son just called me. So, so Bill, I'm going to share something with y'all. What Carlos just sent me. That was funny. So Carlos just sent me something and said, bear with me. Okay, family, remember children first. I'm going to tell y'all something. This may be boring to some of y'all in a minute. Carlos just texted me this before I got on the live and said, remember, everybody got problems. Everybody always say, well, yeah, brother, we're going through the same thing, but you're not giving the information that I'm giving to y'all. Carlos said this to me just now before I got on here because he just made me switch up. So this may get boring to some of y'all unless y'all want to drop some finances down, cash at work, PayPal work. So Carlos just sent this to me, said, brother, your family comes first. I have one out on a limb on so many things for our people. I have tried to get people, and I don't want to say try. I've been working on getting people to come to law libraries, right? To come to law libraries, to put up money and actually come to a law library and get information. Not a regular library, a law library, right? So I said I had to pull back for a minute. Listen, Carlos told me to go home, sit back, and um, just regroup. And he told me this. He said... Yo, but even though he don't have to tell me that, I know that, but I'm stiff-headed and I'm hard-headed sometimes with a lot of things. But I want my people truly to be free. I don't need you to follow me, worship me, none of this stuff. I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't need no one to worship me, follow me. And if you think this is too much complaining, then leave. Because I wish Carlos can get on here. And I wish my sister Blue can get on here also so you can hear her hear him say that when he was on the phone with me. I go through so much and give y'all so much information on social media and ask people to help me. But what happened, it's like, yo, if I stop, the nigga stuff is going to go on. Cat's going to be on social media still pimping you, but I'm going to let y'all drown. I'm going to be real. And it's hard because you have some people who truly want this information and that really don't have the finances, right, to back it. But then you have people who can back it, won't back it because of jealousy and envy, right? So I sit up here every day and I say to people, yo, 
let's go to the law library i'm open i can get y'all in there i can show you what you got to do but i can't hold your hand i can't i can't help nobody if i can't help myself but my like brother carlos said my family my children comes first and none of y'all don't give a damn about my children so if i'm selfish if i'm standoffish then it's just that <laughs> it's just that man i can cry out all the time about this all them bees on your wrist yes don't worry about the bees pay attention to the message okay so Carlos, thank you, brother. I, I hear you. I hear you, brother. And I'm going to be real. I hear you a lot. And it's insane. So people, if I don't talk about certain things, um, it's not that I don't want to tell y'all. It's just that it's not enough people supporting the way they should support. It's not. It's really not. So again, I'm on the phone with my sister, Karen, and we talking about setting up this Zoom when I go back home. We talking about setting up Zoom and have at least 40 people and we're going to create our own email so people can come on to the classes okay the classes or oh, i'm gonna block you witchcraft this right here As a matter of fact i'm gonna give you a history lesson is witchcraft craft are you operating with so find another page i told you it's not about positivity i'm xing you so if you want to support what i do people please hit this cash app hit the paypal i thank y'all listen to me we can go to the law libraries tomorrow all y'all gotta do is help out so again man carlos I'm, I'm working on it brother i'm working on it i told them things gonna get boring as soon as somebody come on with something stupid i'm xing you so i'm working on it brother carlos i <laughs> truly it's keep calling me back it's keep calling me i'm working on it carlos so um again people this is a lot of work this is what I do. This is what I do. If I had a nine to five, y'all wouldn't be getting none of this information. None of this information. So please show your love by hitting the like button. Please show your love by supporting. Really? Okay. My children come first. Those are my first priorities. You can say yours come first too, but you don't do what Severe Bay do. I have the same issues that you have. All of y'all have, I have the same issues. I don't need no pats on my back. I know what I'm doing is good. I know what I'm doing is right. So please, people, if I can help you, please help the movement. Help us get it popping. Come on, help out. We got mad line on this one. Kill a pride, let's rock. Let's rock. Can they talk about some order when they are the invaders? And how good can they perform immigration when they invaded their neighbor? America existed before Columbus. 30,000 years ago, we were there in Mexico. We saw Mama Chica act, cock your rifle, let it blow. Bo, 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 bo. All invaders died ago. This was for my people, Mexican people. The whole earth is yours. No human is illegal. Come across the border, every woman. Now then, can they perform immigration when they invaded their neighbor? America existed before Columbus. 30,000 years ago, we were there in Mexico. We saw Mama Chica act, cock your rifle, let it blow. Bo, 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 bo. All invaders died ago. This was for my people, Mexican people. The whole earth is yours. No human is illegal. Come across the border, every woman. And man, the U.S. is the alien. Mexico, this is your land. Powder. Can they talk about some order when they are the invaders? And how then can they perform immigration when they invaded their neighbor? Yo, you see the same men living like cavemen coming out the cave. They're trying to insane them. How do we obey them? Better we betray them. Rise up like the Reverend Natuna and slay them. Mexican people, get your education. Tell your little children them this is their nation. You own California, you own Arizona. You own San 
Diego, Texas, the Lone Star. Hey, so how then can they talk about some order when they are the invaders? And how then can they perform immigration when they invaded their neighbor? What is a New Mexico? If there is a Mexico, all of America they used to call a Mexico. We want it back. Look, look. You see Mexico, then look at New Mexico. What is a New Mexico? If there is a Mexico, all of America they used to call a Mexico. Immigration laws are a fraud, and we reject them. We are the old Mex. Caltech, pyramid builder, astronomer, philosopher, and healer. Mexican people, rise up right now and realize this is your land now. Sing, how then can they talk about some order when they are the invaders? And how then can they reform immigration when they invaded their neighbor? The border should be illegal, not the people, B. So again, um, brother Carlos, you have to um, watch me, brother, to make sure I don't go and say certain things, brother, because <laughs> I told you I just got a text from brother Carlos. He was like, remember your family, brother. Don't give these people everything. Remember your family, bro. Your family comes first. And that's what he texts. If y'all appreciate me, love the content. One thing that y'all can do is pass the plate just like the pastors pass the plate in churches that's not giving you nothing. So peace, plastic the plate. It works. I don't need all of your comments on social media. Yes, brother, dope as show. Help out. Because I'd already know it's dope as hell. So thank you, brother Carlos, for keeping me on my game. So this may be boring for some of y'all. I could sit back and play music all night. All night. So again, it's not arrogancy. It's just that when people take advantage of you, brother, I'm not rewinding nothing. Rewind, hit the cash app up. I told y'all I can't speak, y'all, because I got a nasty attitude on that end. Because people have been hitting me up like, brother, you have too much talent to be wasted on people. Too much talent to be wasted on people. And that's what I'm not going to do, waste my talent on people. And where's my sister Blue at? Blue, where you at? Let me put my link up here for Sister Blue. So y'all know people from Delaware, New Jersey, New York. I've been here long enough. Y'all could have said, yo, let's create a budget and let's have this conversation one on one. I can talk about nationality. I could talk about how you get your paper, not paperwork, but your name corrected. I could do all these things. But y'all want it for free. So good luck with that one. You're going to have to get burnt by one of these moors that's woke. <laughs> OK, it's not happening over here. I, I, I Listen, I love my people. But I'm not going out like that. So I wish this young brother that just texted me had a budget while I'm in Philly. He said he was trying to set something up for Saturday. Maybe one of y'all good Samaritans can actually pay, you know, sponsor something till Sunday. How about that part? Okay. Maybe we can find somebody that's so-called woke that can make this happen at ACAF up in West Philadelphia. Maybe. I don't know the name of the song, bro. I told y'all. I don't know. If I'm being wrong, if I'm ill, Stan, I'm sorry, brother. I'm just in the mood right now, and I'm trying to be very, very cool, fam. I, You know, back in the day in hip-hop, you used to put tape on the record so nobody would know. I'm not going to keep introducing stuff to y'all and I don't get that love. I don't, again, I don't need people to, I can pat my back. I can say, yo, all these beautiful things, people, but y'all got to pitch in some kind of way and help out. So again, Carlos, you making me look bad, brother. I said, Carlos, you making me look bad, brother. I don't want to be the bad dude. Damn, Carlos. <laughs> making me be out to be the bad guy to say all these things, man, the people. So, again, respect that because I do have children and responsibilities. 
Okay? He said, niggas sitting in the back like ain't not, ain't like supporting this brother is getting big and I ain't getting shit. <laughs> Yo, this brother is funny as hell. And he's in China right now. He's in China. So bear with me. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Seriously, on his feed. Have anybody ever heard of this guy named George? Anybody ever heard of George Lewis Ruffin? Raise your hand. George, you, George Lewis Ruffin. Anybody? Anybody ever heard of him? Let me just show y'all something for the record, okay? This is the man that all of y'all should look up. Oh, let me say this before we start. My sister at Nicholas Brooklyn, she just got the book. If y'all in Nicholas Brooklyn in New York, she just got three copies of The Unknown Arab. I got to support and rock my sister. She just got three books of The Unknown Arabs. I don't know if my sister, um, Nick, um, Nicole is on the feed, but she just texted me and told me she got three copies. So if you in Brooklyn, please get with my support the sister. Support the bookstore, y'all. Please support the bookstore. Don't go on Amazon and buy books. Okay? Do not go to Amazon and buy books. Go to Nicholas Brooklyn. She just told me she just got three copies of the book. So let me just show y'all this real fast. She says she got three copies. So if you want the book, if you're in New York, if you have a cell phone number, whatever, 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 call the bookstore so she can buy more books. My brother Yoel also has the books at his bookstore. But please support these two people. Please support these people. I don't get a check from them, okay? I want y'all to hear me. I should be getting a check from them, but I don't get a check from them. Again, my heart aches for my people because I want my people to really truly do better. Okay? Look, Carlos said I'll take the blame for what I'm keeping it real. <laughs> Carlos is funny as hell. Look, Lou said I'm a, I would take the blame for keeping it real. Nowhere on no platform on YouTube you're going to get straight, authentic information from. None of these dudes. None of them. So get with my sister at Nicholas Brooklyn in New York. She has three copies. Please buy out those books, y'all. Please buy the books out. If she's watching, she can give y'all the information. Okay? So... I'm trying to be careful about what I'm saying to y'all and what I would part to y'all um, because I know how our people are. Not that I don't care. I love my people, but I love my children more. <laughs> I love my I love my children more. I can't give them the internet. I can't give them, you know, these phones. I have to actually make sure they're taken care of. And I go out my way a, a lot to help a lot of people, big. So again, Shout out to my sister Nick, um, Nick Nicole at um, Nicholas Brooklyn. If y'all want a copy of that book, and if she sees this book right here, this is another book that she should pick up. That's another book right there called The Arabs of Sudan. The history of the Arabs in Sudan. And they're not talking about no pale face Arabs. They're talking about us. These are the hidden histories from our people. This is the real hidden history. Not what these cats running around here talking about in a museum in L.A. That's not hidden history. That's not hidden history, people. Not by far. If you're in your feelings about it, don't ever come on my feed. Okay? Because that's not hidden history. Get those books from the sister, um, Unknown Arabs. That is a book that, trust me, you will not be able to put down. That book, you won't be able to put that down straight up from the door so again y'all this is a very very hard job to do it's not easy i don't get thousands of dollars or which i should be getting thousands of dollars for so if you want all of that then you got to go to another channel <laughs> okay so please support it people 
Shout out to the one person out of everybody that's on my feed that just actually supported 57 people. That's a god darn shame. You follow me? So I'm going to hold things back. So give me one second. So I asked y'all, have you ever heard of this brother, George Lewis Ruffin, and why this man was not talked about for Black History Month? How many of y'all ever heard of this man right here? He's a brother. Where did I find his information at? Right? Where did I find this man's information at? I was in Harvard. I went to Harvard, right? This is inside of like a, I don't want to say a cafeteria, like a study room in Harvard University. Harvard University, I was there. This is my picture that I took when I was there. His picture is blown up, and I got a picture in front of it if I can find it. His picture is blown up on the wall at Harvard University. I heard no one speak of this man in Harvard. Have y'all ever heard somebody speak of from Boyce Watkins to Roland Martins? Have y'all ever heard anyone speak? of this man right here. Remember when I went to Harvard, right? Where is the foundational black Americans talking about this man right here? Come on, y'all. Y'all can hit the link. Don't ask me a thousand questions though. Come on. I was at Harvard. And when I saw this, I said, oh, wait a minute, right? But we got all these smart, educated black folks, right? But I heard no one ever speak of this man. That ain't that ain't Photoshop. That's Sabir Bay's photo. <laughs> That's my photo, right? This is in Harvard. So bear with me. Let me go a little further because you know our people like to go to. We like to go to Wik. We like to go to Wikipedia and find things, right? But we always want to talk about the white man did this and the white man did that and the white man did this and the white man did that. So bear with me. Let me show y'all something else, okay? I'm going to close him out. And I wasn't even going to tell y'all about it. I said, I got to tell you. I have to share this with y'all. I have to share it. So let me show you a little further. Here we go right there. So I believe, weren't people supposed to be slaves at this time? The first black, this is the plaque. This is the plaque that's in Harvard. You would think that all of these black scholars that keep giving you the same five people for Black History Month would have brought him up. The first black graduate of Harvard Law. <laughs> Who's in law school? Um, the lead attorney, did he bring him up? Have any attorney ever brought this man up? This is my plaque that I took the picture of in Harvard. Born to parent, born to free parents in Virginia. Really? So if this man was born in eight in in what is it? Where is he born at? 1834. Just think about this for one second. If this man was born in 1834, right, and died in 1886, how? His parents moved to Boston in 1853. So this was during the time of slavery, right? Come on, y'all. Let's use the thinking caps for a second. Why don't we know about him? But see, they put the black up here, right? But it wasn't called black. It was a Negro back then. But this man was a judge, an attorney, a barber. <laughs> Look, in 1868, when did slavery end, y'all? Come on, y'all. Talk to me for a minute. When did slavery end? Ruffin was accepted to Harvard Law. Oh, so come on, somebody talk to me for me. I know this is hard. I know this is a very hard pill to swallow. I know this is a hard pill to swallow. So if you hear, I want y'all to timestamp this so y'all can see if any of these other people speak about it. Because if you knew about this, you would have already talked about it. You wouldn't wait to Sabir Bay do a video. So I want y'all to share it out. Share it out. Share it out. They had a David Ruffin at the 
the Hidden Museum. <laughs> they had David Ruff in there, but they didn't have George Lewis Ruff in there. Oh my God, I'm so finished. Mike, you are crazy. I know that's my brother, Mike. You are crazy, brother. Share this to the FBA. And remember what I told y'all, please timestamp this. What y'all are getting from these black scholars and these black leaders are misleading information. And we and they feed on your ignorance. Hey, yo, send this to that brother, Empire Strikes Back, brother. You know, the funny thing is, I would do a video with that brother, too. Dead serious. I would do a video with him. He could ask me. He could interview me on any subject. I swear. <laughs> y'all know who he is. So his name is Brandon, brother Brandon. He can ask me any question. Dead serious. So he said he got David Ruffin at the museum. What ain't nothing hidden in that museum, people. No disrespect. If y'all in y'all feelings, I'm not hating. But there's nothing in that hidden history museum that is hidden, B. This is hidden information. Do y'all agree? Oh, Romeo, you got to come on the feed for a minute, brother. Do y'all agree? Oh, brother, you hate. I don't hate nobody, B. I don't hate. It's truth. It's truth. That's what it is. It's not about hating. It's not about hitting. You don't, when you say you're hiding something, it's something that most people don't know about. When I gave you P.O. Pico and showed you that, when I told you about the, the history of the University of Carween or Carween, the oldest university in the world is by a woman. That's hidden history. The oldest university in the world is by a woman, not Timbuktu. That is hidden history. None of that stuff that you go see is hidden. So timestamp this, okay? So this particular man, when I went to Harvard, right? I don't know what you would call him, a foundational black American. I don't even know. But anyway, hit the link. So this guy, George Lewis Ruff, and I said, wait a minute, what is it about this man? And I just happened to basically walk through Harvard because I was in Harvard for a different, for a different reason. As I was walking through Harvard, I went to Harvard to find out slaves being owned at Harvard. So this is him. People, locations, uh, episodes. Give me one second. This is the man right here. So remember, I told y'all to please timestamp these things. Was born in 1834. He was he wasn't black. Number one business owner. A turn, look at this a business owner, an attorney, a judge, all of these things. Come on, B. He was a civic leader. See, this is what the black folks will say. I don't know how true it is, but they'll say he married a white woman. Nah, B. <laughs> what's up, bro? Hey, you know what's crazy, fam? That I had to go look up who David Ruffin was, and that's how you know our values are off messed up because they glamorize singers but they don't know who george lewis ruffin is and what he's dude, about dude like rather you like this man or not let me tell y'all something half of these people he got a woman beat up no disrespect to james brown but he beat up women but james he got a picture of james brown inside of james brown is totally african but james brown was a woman beater Majority of these people that they'll be putting on those posters on the wall, yeah. they're women beaters. Let me make this clear for y'all. And for the record, James Brown never said I'm black and I'm proud. That's for the record. James Brown never, ever said I'm black and I'm proud. Go back and listen to it again. See, this is the type of stuff, brother, that I got to be careful because y'all don't want to put this eye to the universe because they're going to say, Shabir, oh, shut this stuff down. James Brown never said I'm black and I'm proud. Oh, believe me, your black conscious people are watching this. James Brown said the hook. James Brown said the hook. Say it loud. That's it. That's all James said. That's it. I want y'all to hear me because I'm changing some stuff up on my platform. Mm -hmm. If you're not here to support, and I'm not talking about liking, financial support, people. This is not your show. This is Sabir Bay's show. Like my brother said. Think about your family, brother. And yes, brother Carlos said the young people said it. Thank you. The young people said it. So if you're not here to support 
please don't come and try to drag your conversation into this people i'm just being real with y'all i'm trying to be nice about it i'm trying to really be nice about what i'm saying okay so james brown never said i'm black and i'm proud he said say it loud no matter what i'm doing and trying to get people together to make this happen and this brother just hit me up and asked me to do something at the acaf and i'm like brother if you can create a budget or somebody want to be nice so here they just got their income taxes and maybe y'all should sponsor it and i can chill here and then we can have something at acaf we can have something in delaware we can have something in new york but i gotta stick to my guns with this brother because carlos is going to keep beating me the hell up like nigga, carlos be that carlos is like a goddamn sponsor but goddamn it can't just be him Shit. but be real so all of this when i went down there to harvard i went down there for a different reason to find out what was going on in harvard so i walking past the lobby all europeans y'all call white in this particular study room and as i'm in there the point the painting was right there i said you was oh. on the live you was on the live I and i live. remember it vividly I was live that day you was live and you was like passing through it and then you stopped and you had the camera and then you looked like you just discovered a gold mine was i live on youtube or was i what was i live on was it instagram facebook youtube what was a lot i don't even know what i was live on it must have been youtube at the time i don't think it was youtube i think it was instagram if i can find it i believe it was instagram even facebook but when i went in there it was crazy because you could have seen all their heads turned all like i'm literally standing in front of this man's let me show y'all this one more time before we go back i'm I think standing you, i think i think you was on your way out no i came in first and i saw it i saw it first when i first walked in right and i took different i, just, I took different photos of it but when i first walked in i saw it on the wall i took a picture and i said i got because i had to double look at it i said why is this man picture big <laughs> as hell on this wall right here like and then I read it. I said, hold up. You mean to tell me him? I thought slaves was around that time, right? Straight up. I said, I thought it was slaves, right? In my head, I was taught slavery because we wasn't, I wasn't taught this for Black History Month, right? So when I read it, I said, okay, damn, okay, that's what's up. People need to know about it. And I told Carlos this, and I said, I wasn't going to talk about it, but it was people saying, no, no, but give them something that most don't know about so all these people are going to say oh yeah we knew about this if you knew about it then where's your videos at talking about it if you knew about this he was born free his parents was born free so they'll tell you that we was all slaves so the and i wasn't going to talk about it because karen also stated she said well you should talk about it sabir because no nobody know about him it ain't about it ain't about black history month she said they still need to know about who this man is they need to know but we keep talking about we conscious we woke how you don't know about this man look he was he was a judge man how could a man that's supposed to be a slave be a judge an attorney a businessman all of these people and racist boston <laughs> in boston my brother noble's on here right now he's from boston how the first African American. See, they said African American on here. How they keep twisting y'all up with African American or black, but he was a Negro, or maybe he was a Moor. We'll get into that later on. Maybe he was a Moor, right? So here you go, right here. They said the first African American graduated later that year. So if he's African American, and you tell me where is the FBA and all these other people talking about this man at? But we supposed to, we were slaves though right but everybody knows about this this is why we are a joke family we are a straight up joke to the world peace man. Peace. Peace. peace peace joke man and y'all don't care nothing about it y'all think is hey man what the hell bro <laughs> we a joke no one on no on these, these social medias is giving you this and i could like again man this if i don't give y'all everything just you know just get ready for the classes just 
I have a whole email I'm waiting, that's set up. And you I'm, waiting for the, the, I'm waiting for the trolls. To, I'm waiting for somebody to troll and say something slick. Because <laughs> that's funny because if you look at the timeline on that plaque you just put up, and then if you Bro. put up the timeline of the free Negroes that own slaves, and then you look at the Bro, timeline of so emancipation, stop. you know, the timelines is, is just ridiculous. Stop it. I'm going to stop a lot of this. So bear with me. I told y'all this. So bear with me. No disrespect. But I don't care about a troll. I don't care about none of that. I told Carlos, I got to give this to y'all. My point, y'all don't realize in my head, I'm really trying not to be a certain way. But my thing is that y'all don't understand what I'm giving you. And this is what, uh, what my brother just told me. He just said this to me. And I don't think y'all hear me. He said, you're wasting too much. You can. This is not your show. No disrespect. But what he said is that people will come on. And I'm not saying you don't or do. But my point is, like, I want y'all to understand and share these videos. Because we need to have it openly to a lot of people. Because this stuff is draining sometimes, people. It can be really draining on so many levels. And I'm trying to be level-headed. Because I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do none of those things to forget. You follow me? I don't have a, you know, something I can run to. I come to this. So that's my outlet. And I'm, and it's like, it, it weighs, it's a weight that's on you, on your shoulders. Like, God damn, when are we going to get this? And then when I'm saying it, it got to be me being sarcastic and smart. It's not that. I know everything that you can really say out your face about all of this. I didn't told people to go get these books. I didn't told you how this thing is done. Okay. It's a lot to this work, people. And it cannot be on one person. And when I say one person or two people, it can't be just on Sabir. It can't be just on Carlos doing what he's doing. It has to be everybody's hand involved in it. The same way the energy I give you every day. Well, stop, Sabir. This is what Negroes will say. You know why? Because that's what they want. It has to be everyone on these fees that do that. Not just me. I'm just a I'm just a machine that knows how to put these things together for you. But like Carlos said, I have to think about my children first. That comes first before anything else. My health come first. I don't have somebody, you know how people get married because they need that person that's there because you get in a marriage because you, yeah, I don't have no relationships like that. I'm not married. I don't have a wife that I can get on the phone or go home and say, honey, I got to do this. I don't do that. This is what I'm basically when I'm married to all my children. So people have that backup if something goes wrong. If I go down, nothing's getting done. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. So I have to keep my sanity. I have to keep my health up. I got to eat right. I got a lot of stuff I got to deal with. So I don't have nobody saying, I, you know, I don't have a wife and say, yo, bro, we'll get you married. Nigga, this day and age get married? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Marriages don't even last long. I'll be seeing people marriages. I'm like, I don't know why y'all married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be I'll be running out people's houses and be like, yo, y'all crazy, dude. <laughs> I don't know how y'all make it. But the only reason why people do it is because, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. But people get married because they want something from the other one and to make it easier. So it help mm -hmm. it make it make easy with me, too. See how that works? Make my job easy. Don't make my job harder. Make my job much easier. <laughs> Shit. Okay, make it easy. So make it very easy. So what's wrong with having a backup with with a sister? I ain't say nothing about a sister. I didn't say a sister. I just said marriages. Now you and your feelings. I didn't say nothing. Do you hear me say anything about a sister noble? Do you hear anything we say about a a, a, a sister Romo Romeo? Mm -hmm. I said no, I people got married and stay in miserable marriages. See, if it's a girl or a friend, you can walk away from that. And there's no ties to it. Later. <laughs> I'm out. Because marriages ain't, the, the day and age, this day, the day and age with marriages, brother, it's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> it's really not. It's not for everyone either. Not for everybody. It's not for everybody. You know, and some people just stay there because they can't go nowhere else. I'm free. Nigga, I can be like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm good. I'm a, well, brother, that's no, that's not selfish, brother. It's not meant for everybody. And especially if a person is not on that in this day and age and where we're living at, and where we're living at, and the way I move, 
You follow me? It's insane. If it happens, it happens. But the person has to be on the same page as you on. Most of my man just told me he got a divorce because he got into this Moorish movement and his, you know, other stuff happened. And um, his marriage just fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> I said, damn, dude. He said, yo, Sabir, man, this marriage thing ain't what it's supposed to be. You know why? I'm going to tell you a little bit of history. Because the reality, if you understood marriage, I need y'all to hear me. If you truly understood marriage, man and woman is already married when you have sex with them and you say, that's my wife. Mm -hmm. What man, what they're doing to you because you are colonized, they selling you back to one another. You follow me? My man, Mark, yeah. um, uh, Carlos said, you're married with a purpose. <laughs> he said, I'm married with a purpose. No, yeah. because if you read Quran and you read, and this is the crazy part. I want y'all to understand how this go. Because you are still following behind this European. If you if you read your Quran or Bible, it will mm -hmm. tell you when you consummate with a woman and then you verbally say, that's my wife. That's my wife. So now you got to pay to go get a go get married you got to pay to go get divorced by who you see how that works you got to pay sacking it to their pockets you don't understand brother and you want to talk about somebody pimping you playing you fleecing you so you got to pay to get married pay to get divorced so there's a term called miscegenation so the whole concept of marriage was actually for two is for interracial relationships interracial that's what a marriage license is if anybody got a law dictionary that's why i told you i would have took y'all to a law library but then nobody want to put up 50 dollars a piece and make it happen i told you it's very simple but so don't come on my feet trying to say well i'm gonna have to drive the conversation this way and do this no it ain't gonna work that way that's how it is this is why most of these brothers be miserable as hell and most of these women be miserable as hell too because they thought that that's what they was going to marry was going to be all that no man, this is a marathon bro <laughs> this is a straight up marathon. I'm it's, married it's to the man. It's Peace. more of a fairy. It's more of a fairy tale thing. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, it is a fairy because our minds. Are, this is the thing, brother. We don't know that that's not how we got married. That marriage license is a permission. That's the reality. And if you really want to get into it, I told you I'm not going to go too far. But the marriage license is under this thing called the police powers. Y'all don't get it? Oh, you better study law. It's under the police powers. You can't tell them that. They think about jumping over a broom. <laughs> no, brother, but this is the reality. This is why. Why would I? If I'm woke and, well, brother, that's not a real marriage. This is the mindset of the colonizer. The colonizer. He, you are colonized and don't even realize it. Oh, brother, that's that's not a real marriage. Well, what is a marriage? Uh, what is a real marriage? You don't exactly. Even have, you don't even have real history or real law. <laughs> you don't want it and don't care about it. If I'm wrong, bring me your best. I'm in Philly. Bring me your best. And this is why I got to be careful about even saying this, because what happens is, no, we don't want him because he might mess up our gravy train. That's the truth. Sometimes telling the truth ain't pretty. And this is the truth. If you think I'm lying, if you have a law dictionary, if you have one, Brother Noble, I want you to look it up. And see, you. this is what I mean by your, your spouse has to be on the same page as you. If the spouse is not on the same page with you, you can forget that, bro. You can step forget it. Step. That's going to be a hell of a miserable relationship right there. My relationships are always happy. I'm happy with my relationships. I'm happy. I'm fine. And and a, and a, a lot of it, a, a, and a, a lot of them are not on the same page. It's all about yeah. money. It's all about money. Or who who gonna control this? Yes. Who gonna control that? And that's all it is. One is a Bro, vegan. I, the other one eating meat. One is a vegan. One is listen. You know how many times I know people that's maybe in a vegan, and that's not a vegan. And, and you know, I used to argue with my son when he comes in with me. I say, no, we don't do this. My son don't eat pork or meat, red meat, right? But he eat chicken. But I say, yo, dude, I don't want that in it. See how that works? It's the same thing because this is the key. If one person is weak, right? And I know some of y'all guilty. I'm not going to tell you not to eat meat. Mm -hmm. But if one person is weak and the other one is strong, if it's a girl or a guy, nine times out of ten, you're going to go follow that person because, number one, you don't want to leave that person. I don't care. I'll be like, listen, it, I, it was years ago. I remember talking to a sister, right? And she said something about eating lobsters. I said, well, sister, I guess I will never call your number again. Mm 
You follow me? I'm not here to impress you. I never ate. I don't eat lobsters. I never ate lobsters. I'm not a lot. I'm not a, a bottom feeder. You follow me? That's not me mm -hmm. to get booty, bro. That's not me. I'm an exit because I don't touch that. My sister Blue tonight was telling me about making fish. I'm not knocking you for that either, but I don't eat fish. You see what I'm saying? So people say, well, everybody's not like you, so, but that's true. I don't want you to be like me, but I'm trying to tell you about me, how I am, and I'm not trying to make you be me. My son's mother, Amir's mother, I've never told her to be a vegetarian. I want you to hear me. I never told her that I wanted her to be. I, I led by example, example, example. So when we separated, she dealt with a dude who ate pork, who did this. Are oh, you following me? So what happens if an individual is weak, they're going to go to that side of the strong person. I'm mm -hmm. a strong individual. Of course, you're going to say, well, that's true. Sabir, don't eat this. I watched him. Anybody's ever been around me, you know, I don't touch certain things. I don't drink soda. Yeah. I don't eat white sugar. I, I don't don't even like deep fried food unless it's in some type of other oil. So this is the reality is what I live. I don't talk it. I lived it and I lived it damn near 30 years. Ain't that kind of crazy. So it can't be a fling. So this is what is happening with our people, because the people that you are around. You're going to pick up their bad habits. I know relationships didn't last because the stronger person was a vegetarian or a vegan. Right. And the weaker person wasn't. So either it's going to separate. It's just like with knowledge. My mm -hmm. ex, my ex man. Yo, she's still single and we ain't been together in years. G, almost a decade. And none of these dudes can ever sit with her because they be trying to educate or school her when we used to live together we used to say that we was married we didn't go to no courts none of that no oh, i'm gonna give you this diamond ring no we didn't do all that i said that was my wife she said i was my husband and when she sit with dudes to this day and y'all know her she's on social media oh trust me a lot of you cats in california ran across her and she would say she would say do you know who my husband was as soon as they say my name it's a wrap you can't school. and that's what you want to impact them on right not because of a car because what these dudes do is trying to act like they're intelligent and they're smart but when she smacked them with this information it's a wrap and she was in a more she was in a more science temple no doubt i just gave y'all a hint <laughs> she was there okay and the moors and let me tell you something the moors got so mad at her that she was talking to me i'm gonna tell you this story the Moors in L.A. got so mad at her. <laughs> had, I'm going to be real with you. And Carlos, this is the first time you might be hearing this. Y'all know who she is. So when we lived together, um, one of the Moors was watching our house. One of the Moors was watching. Now, you know the little emblem that Moors wear on their neck? The little emblem? You know the Circle 7? Y'all know the Circle 7, mm -hmm. right? That's why I'm wearing that crap, right? I'm not impressed with that. So one of the Moors was watching the house and we went away. I think we was driving across country when we, and she had, she was house city. When we came back, that mother freaking stole the circle seven. Some, the Moors science temple in LA told them to take the circle seven. Wow. They told him take the circle seven. I said, yo, that's crazy. But that was stealing. You see the mindset of our people, even mm -hmm. some of these conscious, people, they took the circle seven that was not belong to them off the wall and they took it the emblem <laughs> because they was upset because she was talking to me because she wasn't running around talking about islamism i know she's probably watching this and laughing her ass off right now <laughs> oh they probably she's probably laughing saying sabir is telling too much <laughs> but i want y'all to understand how these people are they hate me that goddamn much because you can't do what i do and you only can do what you do and this is why I said it's not the white man that's doing it. It's our own people because we have not dealt with the lower self yet. We Due haven't. diligence. She was nice, man. She was nice looking. We cool as hell to this day. Cool as hell. We don't talk about getting back together. None of that stuff. We cool as hell. We don't talk about, yo, we're going to sneak. Nah, bro. Nah, she good people. I, I imagine she be pulling out the dress guy case. She know about all of this, brother. 
let me tell you something. I have no ill feelings towards anyone I've dealt with, not even my children's mothers. Obviously, I had to love them or something to have children by them because I don't have an army of children. So this right. is the type of person that I am. And this is what kills people because they try to find things. You can't even say that I'm a bad father because I go out my way to take care of my children the best way I can. You are grown people. You can do the same damn thing that I'm doing, but you got to put the time in. You got to sacrifice. This is real. So that's mm -hmm. why Brother Carlos was saying to me, your children come first. Your children come first. He said, she is fine. Nigga, get off of me. He know who she is. No, he know who she is. <laughs> Everybody know who she is if you really know. I don't need to say no names. They know exactly who she is. So this is how I operate. And I have always operated the same way when I went to Cali. I went through all of this. I'm constantly saying, y'all Yo, help me out. But it's cats on the sideline because they have some type of, you know, prior engagement. Say, I don't like Sabir. I don't like that nigga. He's a, but you repeat exactly what I say. And they will say, don't come to him because... He may take money out of our pockets. Nah, B. Do you. I'm a, I'm a, I, I will encourage you to do you. I will encourage you to do you because you can't stop me. Because I truly do have people in my corner, rather y'all know it or not. And the most high, my son, and my son, and my mother, and my father, and my brother is rocking with me. They got my back. I don't think yeah. about more, man, these cats running around here talking, B. I know all y'all going to do is just talk. That's the reality. But I can tell you this. I am bringing all of this information to y'all that you never heard before. So help these young brothers out because you do have some young brothers. You have some young brothers that want this information, y'all. Please help them. Help these young brothers. Adapt charm. Ain't no damn adapt. Ain't nothing no adapt with none of these cats. I'm going to be a buck with you. Ain't nothing adapt about none of them dudes. That's just a title. I'm an adapt, brother. That's an ad, I guess. We always love these little titles. Add that this, scholar this. Come on, man. We got to stop, man. Moors are, get off my feed, brother. Moors are rapists. Okay, then. You said what you had to say. Peace. Moors are rapists. General. This is, no, come on, bro. Like crazy, brother. And this is what happens with our people. I told you, I'm not going, <laughs> if you keep doing it, I'm just going, and I'm going to keep playing with you over and over and over. I told you, I'm that cat that plays with the mouse. The young dudes took over the game. What what young dudes took over what game? Right. What game? This is not a game. This is a marathon, brother. This ain't no game. Y'all think this is a game? This ain't no game. This is a marathon. Anybody that you think on social media, y'all so y'all gotta do is set it up. And I guarantee you, I'll body anybody that you will put on this platform. Anybody that you will put in a plat in a room with me. Trust me. I'll do it with my eyes closed shut. This is not bragging. I'm just letting you know. That's all you got to do is share the videos. I'm in Philadelphia. My brother wanted to do something at ACAF. So why don't y'all hit him up at ACAF? Y'all know what ACAF is? Hit him up. He just hit me to hit me not too long ago. That's what he said. He's trying to get something done on Saturday, but I might be leaving earlier than Saturday unless somebody want to help those young brothers up. They have a place called ACAF in Philadelphia. They can all come there. I can go to Delaware, wherever it's at, baby. They had no right. No, brother, but this is the reality. I know they didn't have no right to do that, brother. But the key is that I want you to understand the mentality of our people. You don't mm -hmm. stop because, and this is the thing about a lot of our people. One person can mess up for everybody. One person, just like on social media, can mess it up for everybody, but I try not to let that happen. I keep moving forward. I keep moving forward. They can make all the videos in the world about me. I can care less. Them things don't bother me. If I got hit, <laughs> if I got hit with five bullets and it didn't affect me, what makes you think anything you're gonna do on social media can affect severe? <laughs> Shit, bro. The old dude sold us, sold out and dropped the ball because nothing is moving with them. Exactly. And that, and I ain't going to say all of them. Let me be real with you. I respect James Smalls. I respect Dr. Leonard Jeffries. I respect them. But the only elder that I know, the only elder that I know that is still consistent and he's 77 years old 
is my brother, Taj Tariq Bey. Taj Tariq Bey is 77 years old. He did not drop the ball. I've known that man for 20 years. Taj relentlessly, relentlessly been on buses for days, for days killing the game when most of these Negroes would even fly five hours. So Taj had all due respect for me. With all due respect, I respect Taj. But you can't me say too. all of them because the reality is y'all don't give a fuck about these elders because Leonard Jeffries was in a hospital. Leonard, Brother Carlos had to give this man money. I'm not going to say how much he gave him. If he want to say it, he can. He's not rich. He's not rich. But what he did and what he did to my sister at the Nicholas Brooklyn to get books out to people and you sitting on the sideline talking about, oh, brother, I'm, I'm the King Kong this. Brother Carlos gave the Nicholas Brooklyn money to give books out. And Brother it wasn't, Rose is the real MVP. No, he is the MVP. No doubt. I give props where props is due. Taj okay. gets on buses. Taj will sit there and be, and I seen Taj. How Taj, I seen how Taj, tired Taj is. Y'all don't see him when these things go off. I'm sitting here like, damn, Taj, boy, like, damn. Here you go. Hey, Carlos, could you put it on YouTube? Here you go. I'm going to tell you what he sent Dr. Jeffries. You ready? And he still look out for me. I'm going to show y'all something. Bear with me. I can show you better than I can tell you. $1,000. You think this man is working at Wall Street or something? You think he's out here pimping people on social media? That man dropped $1,000 on Dr. Leonard Jeffries. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, again... More, hey man, get off my feed with that, brother. Get off the feed with the negative stuff, brother. All right, I gotta go. I'm, I'm not gonna block you for eternity, brother. So, these are the things that we do in ignorance with brothers like that. With ignorance of brothers like that. So, this is what we're dealing with. I'm dead serious, and you gotta deal with the negativity. And this is why Carlos keeps saying, Yo, brother, go home and just fall back, bro, and just regroup. This is crazy, man. This is insane that you got to deal with your own people like this. And they're not even man enough to confront you and tell you why they don't like you. That's the bad part about all of this. This is a hell of a job, people. This is harder than. And if you think that I'm bullshitting, all you got to do is don't get mad. Go set it up with your scholars. If you love this content, you love this information, please support the real people because I'm about supporting my people. If you're about uplifting my people, I don't care if you call yourself black, bruh. My job is to come in. You seen Q Butter come on my feed. I didn't down Q Butter when Q Butter came on my feed. No, nah, why would I? Why would I? And he said, Brother Sabir, I didn't even know it the way you explained it. He didn't know. But our job is to teach. And that's what I do. I teach. I teach. Okay? So... I'm 25 and Taj Tariq Bay was one of my, the, yeah, one of the names that said don't deal with it. Told you what I tell you. You see how these moors are? They said Taj is one of the ones. You know why? Because these cats want to get you in a boys club and people believe that this is a boys club. This is not no boys club, brother. Taj just said they wish they made books. You should have asked them, my brother Ronnie, how many books they wrote. How many lesson books have they wrote for people? That's what they should ask them. How many? We know who they are. Y'all keep thinking it's other people or these so-called white people. It's Moors and conscious people. The conscious community is a straight up joke right about now. So this is why you hear me go ham. The conscious people is a joke. Straight joke. A lot of so-called grand sheiks. That's a shame, brother. It's a shame. <laughs> and we don't see nothing wrong with it. And then want to know why nothing is getting done. And see, you think I don't have young brothers on my feed watching? We got a lot of young brothers on my feed watching. Yeah. I keep trying to tell you. Huh? Yeah, definitely got a lot of young brothers that need this information, man. So yeah, we got man. some young brothers, man. I'm believe, I really do believe this can help save a lot of these kids' lives, man. For real, yes. man. Yes. No, it's real. Because it's it's like, but I can't do this by myself. 
I can't. You can, and we can't expect I, you to. Brother, you have no idea how many times I'll be ready to throw in the towel. I'm so serious, bro. But when I see young brothers like him on this feed and many other young people, it gives me it gives me like an energy, brother. I'm like, yo, that's what's up. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that's what I'm talking about. It's like brothers like him. And Taj is the most, and I am the most accessible person that you know that you can catch us anywhere. Anywhere from, <laughs> I mean, when I tell you, like I'm to a point like when I'm walking, I'll be like, come on and talk with me. Unless I'm really chilling, then I'll say I'll sit with you. No, yeah, it's like I'm tired, of, I'm tired of like asking people to support. Uh, like, bro, it's like I'm like tired of asking people to support. I'm like, because this information needs to be out. I'm like, I start doing little play sales for myself. I'm like, I'm just gonna build it slow by slow, but I'm gonna do it myself because I'm not stop I'm stop dealing with people that don't wanna. Don't want they don't even want truth. They don't even want to look at truth. They, they really turn their face to truth. It's 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 it, it, they don't want truth. And everything else that's on social media now is dress up, brother. Everything that you see now is so dressed, dressed up. up. How's the camera action? How's the camera angle? How, it's it's like I feel like a DMX, like a nigga. That, we're at you, dog. Like let's go. Like I don't care. Like that's how I am. Like yo, let's just go. We don't need no cameras. Like camera actions. This is real, man. There is no such thing as a conscious people. You are so freaking right. You can't be conscious if you don't know who that brother is. I just showed. You can't possibly be conscious if you don't know who this man is. Let's go back. Hold up. You can't be conscious if you don't know who this man is. Give me one second. Here you go. How are you conscious and you talk about we woke, but we don't know who he is, but he was the first brother that graduated from Harvard. How? How, Sway? How? Mm. Mm. Seriously, I hope y'all sharing this. How? That they you're definitely didn't mention him. And you didn't mention him. And, I, and honestly, I waited till after Black History Month. Seriously. I really waited after just to see if anyone ever brought this man's name up. And not one of them ever mentioned this man. Maybe I'm maybe I don't watch people's videos. Maybe somebody did bring up George Lewis Ruffin. Did anybody bring him up? Can we get some of you? Nope. Any, have anybody since everybody on social media talking? Did anybody bring this man up that he was the first one that graduated from Harvard? Oh, it's my bad. They didn't bring up Carter G. Woodson. So that <laughs> Oh, he said he's going to let me interview him on how he raised his three children. Okay, Carlos, we can make that happen. So hold up. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Tracy. So let me show you all something else. This is what we're more concerned about. Bear with me. I'm going to show you what we're concerned about. Look what D.L. Hughley posted. I don't give a 747 about a, a damn joke. Like, he... BL has made this girl famous. This is what BL tweeted out. I hope y'all tweet this to BL too. This show, this is crazy. Look, he rather he he would never put me. I guess I gotta talk about DL for him to tweet me out. This is the craziest thing ever. He will retweet or tweet this out. Who cares? You are making this girl. How are you making her? Let me show you how you're making her. Now, I've seen this interview. This is what BL Hughley is more concerned about. <laughs> I can't make this motherfucker up. <laughs> I can't make this up, brother. So, he, hold up. What up, fam? I'm live. What's going on, Ed? It, it went good, man. I'm live right now, man, on YouTube. It went good. You ain't see it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's up there on YouTube. I'm live right now talking about this brother. What brother? Um, it's, his name is um, George George Lewis Ruffin. He was the first um, black to graduate from Harvard. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm on live. Good? All right, bro. Peace, Ed. Right. Yeah. See, when your brothers call you, that was Eddie Griffin. See how that works? Brother call you on the phone. I knew somebody was calling me. That's what happens. They call you. I don't get it. So DL will post this up. 
and talking about gossip. Who cares if they called him corny? So I got to talk right. about D being corny for him to actually tweet something out. Y'all not hearing me, man. Y'all don't realize really what the hell is going on and who y'all got in your hand, in your hands, in your midst right about now. You don't realize who you have in your midst. And we're going to appreciate these things when I'm gone. When I'm gone. That's crazy. What celebrity calls you when you're in the middle of your show? <laughs> That's funny as hell that he just called me. But no, seriously, people, it's I'm sitting here like watching this. And I hope y'all tweet this to D. I'm going to text this to D.L. Hughley, too, because these cats are really trying to be on the safe side of things. They really want to be on the safe. I'm like, what does that have to do? That's gossip. He, If she called him corny, let it ride. But this is what we're concerned about. But not about the brother that graduated from Harvard. Not him. We don't want to talk about him. Well, maybe they don't know, Sabir. I don't know what they know. You would seek it because I, I tweet DL all the time, and I do tag DL all the time. It ain't like he don't see my tags. It ain't like he don't see the texts. It is not like he don't see none of these things. But this brother should be talked about. But the key to this, right, that he was a judge, a business owner, an attorney, free. Let me help y'all out. Let me show y'all something. He was free in the 1800s. And before free. all that, he was a barber. He was a barber. So that's crazy. So my brother Noble and I was running around in Boston, which is on the phone. And I want to, I wish he would have went with me to Harvard though. Honestly, I mean, maybe I'm just, a, I'm just too hard of a working dude. I mean, I was tired as hell and I felt lightheaded when I was there because I really was running around a lot in Harvard. So I went to Harvard looking for this. So it, it and I hope this is making sense to y'all. Black history then came and went, right? Black History Month then came and went, right? None of them brought up at the NAACP Awards, not for Black History Month, talking about slaves at Harvard. Not one of them. And I went down to Harvard to find out what was going on. Which one of these people that y'all see is actually went to Harvard or even was talking about slaves in Harvard? Kind of crazy. That's crazy, right? So Harvard had slaves there, right? But we still not having this conversation. You know why? Because Negroes want to be on the safe side of things. We don't want to rock the boat, baby. Don't rock the boat. You follow me? This conversation. <laughs> that's going to mess up. That's going to mess up their grant money. Oh, brother, I could tell you about that too. Did I tell you the story? What they yeah, did? Hundred eighty degrees. Yo, do you know that they was paying off HBCUs not to talk about this, really? <laughs> I can believe it. I can believe it. Yo, yo, they was paying off HBCUs not to have this conversation. He has a white mother and a black father. So he was born in a city full of free people. Think about it. But do you do know that even if you had a baby by a Negro at that time, what would happen? You a slave. Did y'all know that? Oh, mm. maybe it's deeper than mm. that. Hold up. Did y'all know the history behind this? Mm. So if you if you had a, a, a baby by a slave, they made you a slave. But I'm going to tell you the kicker to all this. Y'all ready? I'm going to show you how law plays into this. Are y'all ready? See, people, I knew. See, I was just waiting for somebody to write, to say that, right? So let me help y'all out. Have you ever read the Constitution? <laughs> Of the United States, anybody? Have anybody oh, really? Great new day. Have anybody ever read what this book is right here? I'm gonna help you a lot, okay? Y'all can pick it up. Hey, Noble, do you have this with you? Yeah, I got it with me. This in the, this in the other part of the house. Okay, so let me quote this for y'all. Y'all ready? Now I want y'all to do me a favor, Romeo. You good of doing stuff like this, brother? What's Romeo that? is good for looking stuff up. So I want you to go to usa today right i don't know if y'all remember that that paper's still out here i just asked them in philadelphia do they still have papers in philly but there used to be a paper called usa today y'all remember that paper 
Yeah, I do. Okay. So I want you to look it up right now. I'm going to help you out, okay? Yeah. Just, just, just follow me for one second, all right? Follow me. Since we want to talk about Constitution, right? Remember, the, remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger was running for presidency? Remember he was the governor? Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to help you out. Go look up USA Today and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It said, and I don't have the paper with me. I'm going to show you how my brain is. It says, should the Constitution be amended for Arnold? See if you can find that article. And I'm going to explain this to you all in one second, okay? It says, should the, this should be the headline of it. Should the Constitution be amended for Arnold? What is Arnold's nationality? <laughs> Bear with me one second. I'm going to explain this. Should the constitution? This is why I said, if you interview me on this shit, oh, it's a wrap, bro. I can break all this down and take you directly to Barack Obama. Okay, so it's going to say what? Should the constitution? I want y'all to look it up just in case y'all think I'm lying. This is why Brother Carlos said, I have too much talent to be giving it away to y'all for free. But y'all don't want this kind of conversation. But look it up. It says, should the constitution be amended for Arnold? Did y'all find it? I'm looking for it, but I remember that last time oh, and it, I'm, it was I'm difficult to find. No, just punch in USA Today in the Google search and should the, should put it all in there. Should the USA Today, should the Constitution be amended for Arnold? It's that simple. It should pop up right in there. It should be there. I guarantee you. I know I, if I beat you to this, brother, I'm, I got to spank you, brother, again. I found a New York Times one. Man, I got this dang on Android. I can't log off this link. <laughs> but All this right. is interesting. But I got, oh man, this is very interesting. I'm going to help you out. Uh, here, go right here. I, I found one about Arnold Exposed, but that's it's, it's USA Today covers the sick push to amend the Constitution for would-be dictator Arnold. Yes, that's part of it, but it didn't say would-be dictator. That's the point. Did the article, somebody added that in there, but the original Arnold original article says should the constitution be amended for arnold they added the dictator because every last one of y'all on this feed is a dictator if you're a parent you're a dictator you see how okay, they spin I, I, I found it but it's not the original like like usa today it's 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 somebody somebody else is criticizing it but it should the constitution exactly. be amended for arnold 2000 usa today december 3rd 2004 so how did I remember? How did I remember this goddamn newspaper from two thousand four? How did and I know he was that? born in Austria at the time? Okay, so let me let me give you the breakdown on how this works. Okay, I'm gonna help you how this works. So first of all, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a natural born citizen. He got naturalized, I think, in the seventies, mm -hmm. right? He mm -hmm. was here since the seventies, right? So right. they said, should the Constitution be amended for Arnold? It's in here, but I'm gonna quote this for y'all. Okay. I'm going to quote this constitution for y'all. It says no person, no person, no person, but a natural born citizen or a citizen before the adoption of this constitution could hold any office of presidency. I'm going to rewind that back for y'all. And then we're going to go into Barack Obama. No one but a natural born citizen or a citizen before the adoption of this constitution could hold any office of presidency. So Arnold wasn't, but they was trying to say, should it be amended for Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, that's a big ass thing that was going on in USA today. Y'all think I just walked into this yesterday? I talked about it back then before there was a YouTube on the scene. Before there was a Facebook on the scene. I said, oh, I can pull out all the records and hit let y'all hear it. Right. So let's go. So you said he was married to. He had a white mother, right? Where does your lineage come from? Your mother. Your right. mother. 
Hold up. I got something for y'all. You want your mom? Right? Say that again. I said both parents, but your mother. No, it's from your mother. A man mother. can't produce a baby, brother. A man is come from your mother. That's why it's called mother nature, mother tongue. Everything is mother. It's from your mother. Listen up. This not and the pharaohs had the same up, process. I told you my brain is my brain is like dude is on point. But listen up. Listen up. This is what I want y'all to hear. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that we must obey Allah and His Messenger at all times. Let's go. But after that, who else did He tell us to listen to and be close to? Your mother. Yes. This is not well even. Done. I ain't prepared this. Who should I give my love to? My respect yeah. and my own. Who should I pay good mind to after Allah and Rasulullah? Comes your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your mother. And then your father. Because who used to hold you and clean you and clothe you? Who used to feed you and always be with you? When you were six, stay up all night, holding you tight. That's right, no other. My mother. My mother. That was my God. Listen. Who should I take good care of? Giving This is the all vibration we should put out Who here. Who should I think the most yes. of? After Allah and Rasulullah comes your mother. Your mother, who next? Your mother, and then your father. Get the killer slump. Get the killer. Cause who used to hear you before you could talk? Who used to hold you before you could walk? And when you fell, who pick you up? Clean your cut. No one but your mother. My mother, who should I stay right close to, listen most to, never say no to, after Allah and Rasulullah, comes your mother, who next, your mother, who next, your mother, and then your father. Cause who used to hug you and buy you new clothes? Comb your hair and blow your nose. And when you cry, who wipe your tears? Knows your fears. Who really cares? My mother. Say alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah, for my mother. We the only crazy mother freakers running around here like the way we are. It's your mother. So everything's come from your mother. Your, you, everybody has a navel that's connected to the woman. So your birthright comes from your mother. That's why it's called mother nature, mother tongue. They didn't told you it's something totally different. Oh, brother, it's the man. It's a man's world. No, nah, nigga, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman. <laughs> James mm -hmm. Brown said, mm -hmm. "It would be nothing without a woman." But this is what is happening. We got to change the vibration. This man yeah. sits up night and day and know how to mess or mind fudge you, bro. That fez that we wear on our head is not a religious thing, B. For all of you Moors that is watching this or don't know about the Moors, that has nothing to do with religion. It's a biblical cord, placenta, and the wound of a woman. That's what that fez represents. A biblical cord, okay? The wound of a woman and a placenta. That's what that is. And you carry it in college. When you graduate from college, you carry it from college. And what happens? You put it on your head. It's called a mortarboard. It holds masonry. It holds masonry. Mother is the only one that builds without a hammer or a screw. Happy at man, man, in fact, happy um Ottawa Day. No doubt. Thank you, brother. Man, I did a video on it earlier today. Y'all gotta study the Battle of Ottawa straight up. 
you have to study the Battle of Ottawa. The feds, we are the original Turks. If you don't know anything about Turkey, shut the hell up and sit down somewhere because I've been to Turkey, B. Oh, I've been to Turkey. <laughs> sit up, sit down, shut up, be quiet. Because you've never been to Turkey. Fall back and learn something, okay? So that fez represents the womb of the woman. Tell yeah. them a little bit that song by um, Cat Stevens. Oh, that you just played there. Use of Islam. You know, you know, you know. He used to be a singer, right? He's Cat Stevens was a singer in the U.S. He yeah, uh, my my neighbor. He he loves his. He likes his music. That's how I know the song he was playing. That's Cat Stevens, man. Yusuf, I think his name is Yusuf Islam now. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, it, yeah. His name is Yusuf Islam. He's formerly known as Cat Stevens. Yup. But you know the crazy part about this, brother? Like how wild this is? Because how could Islam transform this brother? Just think about it. True Islam. Mm -hmm. True Islam transformed this brother, and he gave up music. Negroes ain't giving up nothing, brother. You got to be crazy. I got a nice house, nice car. I ain't giving up nothing. Also, brother Rafouk, what's his name? He used to play for, um, what's that Muslim brother? And they banned him back in Muhammad the Muhammad Abdul Raouf. Yeah, I think that's his name. Muhammad Abdul Raouf. Yeah. I respect him too, right? He they, gave up. The Negroes ain't giving nothing up, brother. Y'all don't realize the sacrifice that people are giving up, brother, for this. So, this like this. So, if you never been to Turkey and saw this behind me, this is in Istanbul, Turkey. So, don't talk about where them fezes come from, brother, because I can tell you about it all. Let me help you out. Give me one second. That standing behind me is called the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. So I'm not making this up, brother. You better do some research on what I'm saying to you, because I've been to the I've been to these places, brother. I can tell you the whole history about the bays, the fezes, and how they treated me when I was there because they did. Yo, you know something? Wow, yeah. that's in Istanbul, Turkey. Wow, I didn't even know about the feds in, in the placenta. I didn't even know that. That's Brother, crazy. They think because the thing is that people are not being taught this because you have people or some of these moors acting as if it's a religion. It has nothing to do with religion. It's the birthright. So this is why Barack Obama, Barack Obama's mother was Caucasian, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. She was Caucasian, right? So yes, mm -hmm. he was a natural born citizen, bro. You don't get it yet? Barack Obama was a natural born citizen. No person but a natural born citizen or a citizen before the adoption of this constitution could hold any office of presidency. It's in there. They're not hiding it from you. Just, just like the black scholars, the black scholars are hiding this information from you. And I know y'all watching. So y'all got to do is hit the link and come on. Believe me. So this is what's happening. So it's not by accident, people. This stuff is going on. They have to keep you sleep. So they have to pump the black thing on you. Hold on. Let me tell you how crazy this is. I'll tell you another one in Turkey. Are you ready? I think this is the wildest thing I ever did. And I'm going to go back to these books again. Okay? Don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. Please hit the support button. Okay? Please hit the like button, the support button. But let me show you something else. 9743. Give me one second. I didn't know what I was doing when I was here, but let me just show you. If you look up anything that I'm presenting to you, you can go find it for yourself. This is a total different day in Turkey. So you want to know? Here it is. Give me one second. That's an Istanbul, Turkey right there. You see the two flags I'm holding in my hand? I didn't understand it at the time, but I I, I, I could have got killed doing that. But anywho, <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't understand. Crazy, like my yeah. brother, my man asked me. He said, "You went over there by yourself. You went to all these places by yourself." Yeah, but that the blue flag is the Ottoman flag. That that flag right there, the blue one. If you ever see the movies called the Ottoman, that one right yeah. there. That's me, in Turkey, right? So the blue one is the Ottoman. So when they was talking about the fall of the Ottoman Turks, that's what they was talking about. You fell, brother. You think these things, yes, the feds do come out of there. Yes, it does. And so do the bays. Oh, yes, because it's all connected. <laughs> it 
it was all connected. And when I was there, the brother took me to the street and showed me Malcolm X Avenue. Y'all can Google this. Malcolm X Avenue in Istanbul, Turkey. In Turkey. In Turkey. Look it up. Google it. Make That's me out crazy. of a lot. That's it. Look at Malcolm X Street or Avenue in Turkey. Look it up. Okay. I Not found you. this on the web. Damn, boy, Siri talk, man. She's a stitch. <laughs> No, but seriously, look it up. These, this is the hidden history, B. This is the hidden history. Malcolm X Street. Is it what that brother say that he had David Ruffin up in there? Yeah. <laughs> Did you find a stand? <laughs> the Temptations. Did yeah, the Temptations. Stand. Did you find it? No, I ain't find it. I'm, I'm on this stupid Android, bro. If I click off and go on, I can't even. You talking about Malcolm X Avenue? Yeah. Yeah. It says Malcolm Turkey. Turkey? Tur what? Turkey renames New U.S. Embassy Street Malcolm X Avenue. So the U.S. Embassy right. is on Malcolm X Avenue. That's so you know what too. they said? You know why they said that? Oh, did Ben Crump say that when he was standing behind Malcolm X's daughter? <laughs> nah, he didn't. That was that was kind of ill when you had Brother Hawthorne the other day because. When I was chopping it up with you, he basically was saying the same thing, but he added on to it. Like I was telling you, they back there standing behind Ben Crow. I, I don't know, you know, Malcolm X's daughter, Percy, and that, but I would just found it weird that those are the people that she got standing there. I was like, brother Malcolm probably slapping these folks up there on that they stage. Were, <laughs> they were finance people, brother, that will keep our people sleep. That street, the dude took me to the street and said it was a smack in the U.S. face. That's what it was. That's what the dude said. It was a smack in the U.S. face. That's what it was. That's all it was. And I said, yo, they ill, man, but they would never tell you that. This is why it's important for y'all, honestly, to back this. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. You ain't getting this from nobody else on social media, bro. <laughs> Trust me. And that's why I got to be careful about what I'm saying to people because I'm going to turn around. I'll be standing by my damn self. I'll be like, damn, I thought everything. I thought my people had my back. You know, so I gotta be very careful with what I'm presenting to y'all. Okay, but you can do your research on it. You definitely can. So they renamed that whole street Malcolm X Street. I said, yo, that's ill. And they was talking about they was talking about my feds, brother. They was talking about my bay when I'm walking through there because in Islam, they don't use bays anymore. They use Islam, they use Mohammeds. Mohammeds was Bayes was way before there was any Mohammeds, way before that. And the, what the Europeans have done, they got a clothing line called Obey. I said, I'm done. <laughs> and spelt the same way, if y'all noticed that, Obey. And y'all still ain't complaining. <laughs> Obey. Ain't this crazy? And I'm sitting here, you smart though, right? You a smart person. But they're putting stuff right in front of your face and you playing games. This is why we don't know about slavery. This is why we don't know about Harvard having slaves. This is why we don't know about the Constitution when the Constitution tell you but no one but a natural born citizen or citizen before the adoption of the concept of this Constitution to hold any office of presidency. Why haven't you seen 100 percent real black man in an office? Think about it for a second. And I got something for y'all sitting on the sidelines too. Well, brother, it's going to happen, brother. Let me tell you why, when it's going to happen. The federal government is something totally different than the several. If you read the Constitution, it says several and united. Several and united. Several and united. No disrespect to Dr. Ka I mean, Dr. York, but Dr. York didn't go where I went. Dr. York did not go where I went at. And if you got some receipts on that, he went there and sat there and did what I did. Trust me, don't do that to yourself, family. Tell me where you went. You're talking to a person that was there. I'm not talking about Todd's went there and did it. You're talking about somebody that was there. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Malachi York went there, but did you go there? The key is, did you go? Did you know about the feds? There's different feds. And matter of fact, let me correct that bush. Just make that clear. There is a difference between a feds and a tar bush. $53.99. So let me show y'all something else. 
People always got to speak on somebody else. That's why, that's why Dr. York in jail niggas sitting back ain't doing nothing. Let them bus. You let them throw Dr. York under the bus. Because you know what happened? Guess who's going in the same footsteps as him? You Y'all know who's going in the same footsteps as him? Do y'all know yet? <laughs> going in the same footsteps? 53.99. Hmm. Y'all don't know yet? Nope. Oh, polite. Brother polite. He's going in the same footsteps, brother. You don't get it? See, people that never had anything do things. People never had things, they'll do things, right? Because they never had anything. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. I'm being real yeah. with y'all. Polite don't show y'all nothing. Just tell y'all a good game. And let me tell you something else. Not disrespect him. He always pull out these cards, but never show what name is on the cards. You ever see those cards that he keep dropping on the ground? He never show you that his name is on that motherfucker. Y'all don't get it yet? Don't get mad at me. I'm just pointing out the obvious. See, I don't give a damn if it's polite sitting in the room with me. He can't sit next to me, B. <laughs> Trust me. There you go right there. That's the blue moss. And the sister that took that photo was from Saudi Arabia. She was asking me, oh, a whole lot of questions. Oh, you should go to Saudi Arabia. And I asked her why. <laughs> okay, that's the blue moss behind me. Okay, and I'm going to go right back into a little bit of history. I'm not going to give you that's much. Two different moss. Wow. It's all different ones. That's the blue moss, which is very beautiful, very big. Wow. And the other one is the Hagia Sophia, which they turned into a mosque. Now I'm going to give you Suleiman's mosque. I'm going to give you Suleiman's mosque. So, bro. 54. Give me one second. I think. All this is to, to encourage you to travel. And go beyond vacation okay this that's the blue mosque and this is suleiman's mosque this is the mosque to be in because there was too many people in this joint i ain't gonna lie man i'm in my crazy head i thought somebody was gonna blow that joint up it was too many people that's suleiman's mosque and i'll give the history one of these good old days of y'all who built all these things and they still standing if you ever know this in Turkey, have y'all noticed this? This didn't fall yet. None of these mosques fell during that earthquake. Y'all don't get this. Do I think Polite is guilty? No. Do y'all think he's guilty? I'm not here to judge Polite. I'm just telling you what he's doing. I'm not here to judge Polite. <laughs> I'm not. Judge not. You not shall be judged. Whatever how they go. <laughs> okay. I'm not here to judge that brother. So what's going to happen is going to take its course. Exactly. Exactly. Are you, listen, are y'all guilty for not supporting what I'm doing? Are you guilty? Oh, support, 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 yo. Support, yo. Yeah. Y'all don't get it yet? Because I keep telling, I can go on for days with this, but Brother Carlos keep telling me, think about your children, right. Sabir. Right. He's rightfully right, though. Right. Right. Think of my sister. Listen, think of my sister Mo is on the line right here. She she owns Nicholas Brooklyn right here. Where's my sister Mo at? Mo, could you put the link up here so people can come to the store? And if somebody have a budget, I'll stay on the East Coast and I'll go down to, to ACAF and I'll come to Nicholas Brooklyn. If somebody have a budget while I'm on the East Coast, it's cheaper to get me while I'm over here than for me to come from the West Coast. It is. But if somebody got a budget, we can get this thing popping. Let's get it popping, y'all. Let me know how many y'all want to make it happen. Okay? All right? Yeah, he guilty. He has six DNA stains on a 14-year-old. I'm done. I don't <laughs> listen. No, that's, that's my bad. That's the young brother. I don't know, brother. Listen. 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 My brother said... Your children come first. Look, I can't keep making this up. So please hit my cash app up and support on this. Have me come out somewhere, y'all, while I'm here. Carlos just did it again. Said, yeah, your children come first. Hey, Carlos, I told you I love my people, brother, but goddamn, let's show the love, people. 
<laughs> just show the love. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos keeping me in check right about now. <laughs> facts, facts. <laughs> Rightfully I'm not, so, though. I'm not, I'm not in it for the gossip, though. This is the thing. I'm not in it for the gossip. I mean, listen. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, you don't condemn the dirty glass of water. You just put the clean one up besides the dirty glass and let the people choose it. So you can go get polite right now. Anybody that you see on social media and I'll take all their money. I'm dead ass serious. I'll take their funds. I'll take their money. Because I, listen, because I need it right about now. I got so much going on, people. I need a couple, a thousand. Straight up. So, and, um, and if y'all want to, you know, I make sure my daughter get it, but my daughter's solar return is next week. So if y'all love my children, y'all can support my daughter. Her birthday is next week. Not her, not her birthday. Her mother's birthday. Okay. My son's is on the 31st of August. Somebody said F polite. I won't say that. Hey, I won't say F polite. Why would I do that? I don't want to do that. Nah. Because I wouldn't do that. I'm not, I'm not that type of person. Um Honestly, I was sitting in the room with I was sitting in the room with polite. Seriously, I would never say f polite. I don't I don't use that type of language to say that. You say you have to talk about it so us young people won't get hurt. Damn, do y'all see this? What he said? Mm, this mm, is mm. crazy. This is why Carlos, I do what I do, bro. You see what this bro? He's twenty five. You see what he's saying? So the young ones won't get hurt. <laughs> I should do it. Who I should do it. He ain't lying though. He ain't said no that. I mean, damn. Bro. I should do a show. I really should do a show on this. But because see, this he is the do thing. Got those allegations. Listen, though, but this is the thing. It's not just him, it's people like Sadnetta and other people that promote that madness. It's people like Sinetta, so you need to get on Sinetta too. It's people like that that makes this bad. It's people like Tariq Nasheed that makes things bad for the masses of the people. It's people like Umar Johnson that is making things bad for the masses of the people. They're making it bad for people. No one else. They're making it bad. Okay? It's not severe because anybody I just mentioned, if you put me in the room with them, believe me, they won't even show up. I've been pushing and saying, you know, somebody that got a neutral platform, throw my name in the hat and let's make it happen. Any of the people that I just mentioned, you will see, I will body them. They can't go first. I cannot go first. And you don't want Sabir Bay to go last. Okay. Man. I don't believe in polygamy neither, brother. Believe me. I don't believe in polygamy. That's not my steed. That's for ugly people. <laughs> for ugly, people, people. <laughs> yeah, ugly people that got money. I don't believe yeah. in polygamy. That's yeah. just me. I, I truly don't believe in polygamy. I don't. I'm not down with <laughs> I'm not down with that. Nah. I'm not down with polygamy, brother. So whoever, thought, whoever thought in their crazy head, Sabir Bay was down. And this is the crazy part. They make it act like that shit is cool. Like Yo, yeah. brother, it's popular, yeah, it's very you. popular right now. I told you why they got three and four wilds, nigga. Because they depended on them. <laughs> yeah, speaking about know. polite, yeah. Polite is the is listen, a promoter. I didn't just polite, brother. There's another brother that's like, I don't just believe in polygamy. I don't believe in it, brother. I don't. That's not my steez, fam. No, 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 no. So if y'all want to get some popping, y'all, let's get it popping. My email is knowledge versus yes, knowledge versus 2023 at gmail.com again knowledge versus 2023 at gmail.com or Bay radio at gmail.com okay so if y'all want to hear this kind of this type of conversation let's get it popping i'm fine so my sister mo mo put your information up there she has the book the unknown arabs i believe she has three copies she's on the phone she's on the line right now so please holler at my sis Okay, get out of her. She had the unknown Arabs and a mo. You got to get this one too. It's called the history of the Arabs in Sudan. This is a very good read too. I do have two of these. I might sell one of mine though, but I have two of those. 
you don't have to believe nothing Sabir says. Just all you got to do is do your research, or you can have me come out and speak. <laughs> Facts. Do your research. You gotta, I'm trying to tell you. Yes, so, hold on. Y'all want to talk about slavery? I'm giving to my young brother this for a reason. Right? I want him to do some research and don't believe anything I'm saying. So let's go to Harvard one more time. Let the black folks keep ignoring. Harvard. This right here, according to Craig Stevens, the author of Craig Stephen Wilder, the author of the book Ebony and Ivory, Harvard would have failed if it was not for one African and one African known in the records as a Moor. OK. Harvard actually from the very beginning in 1636, the college by 1638 actually had an enslaved man living on campus who referred to as a Moor. I'm not hiding this from you. Mm. Mm. Let the church say amen. Right there. You follow me? You can't touch me, B. I'm being real with y'all. You can't. So look it up. I could do a whole lecture on it if y'all want me to. I could do a lecture on that. Hey, um, Mo, Carlos said he got you on Friday. My man Carlos just texted me on Instagram. He said to tell you he got you on Friday. She only got three books, bro. <laughs> she only got three of the, uh, the unknown Arabs, bro. <laughs> so please get them for my sister. She has them at the bookstore. She only have three. But my brother Yoel at the underground bookstore, he got copies too. He got copies. So get them at... Get them at my brother Yoel or get sell out. I mean, buy out the books that she got. Buy them for a friend. Okay. I mentioned knowledge versus debate to someone who named who name I won't say to different lives they had. And a third live, he had two to three young boys with him, basically armed with security. Two or three young boys. Let me see. Who the hell would that be? You can say his name on my feed. You can say his name on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, listen, this is the free show, my G. It's the cipher. Come on, man. This is it's I'm almost it. finished. Y'all can, you, can say, you can say their names, but if y'all want something to pop off, I can talk about the Dred Scott case. If y'all want to sponsor me until Monday, Sunday or Monday, we can do something in New York at my sister bookstore on the Dred Scott case. On the Dred Scott case. Okay. Or if you want to do something on the whole slavery at Harvard, I can do that too. Okay? Dead serious. So y'all can hit us up. Let's get it, let's get it popping. I'm open why I'm here on this side. Okay. But please support. Okay? Hey, they, they blaming Philadelphia for that new drug, Trank. Man, I don't care about that, man. If people, listen, things is going. Listen, they're going to keep on doing stuff until we get it together. Until we stop playing, seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously, they're going to keep doing it, brother. They're going to keep on doing it. These things are going to keep happening until we stop playing. And I'm gonna tell you, the young cats. Is, listen, the young cats is waking up, B. Believe mm -hmm. me. That's a great thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of young cats working up because they like, man, we can't keep getting locked up, and then they we keep dying. Them, man, they seeing this, man. And ain't nobody saying nothing, man. But certain Listen people speaking this. up. Watch what Michael say, y'all. Mike was trying to tell y'all, boy. He said, Do y'all remember that time? You and me in Spain. So we go on, we almost finished, y'all. So bear with me. Damn, I love it when I freestyle this John Bull because that wasn't even prepared. But let me show y'all something what I mean by that. Read this. 
with what they said about Harvard. Look, the more slept Jews, sheep pillars, but down here, the more drawn from the Spanish name from a North African Moor. <laughs> Do you see that? Can you see that, brothers? This is in Harvard. Let's go back. tell you a story about michael jackson right they said <laughs> mike, they said mike would sit on the floor with books with books my g you think mike traveled the world and don't know who the moors are and you so smart and got ten thousand degrees from the white man and still calling yourself black well we got a problem i told y'all before no one gives you this information the way i'm giving it to you and if i'm wrong about anything do your research. I don't need you to follow Sabir. Do your due diligence. Do your research. There's a whole lot of things Michael knew about. No, right. yes, he is. Man, Let me Mike show you so <laughs> this bookstore. Shout out to my sister Blue. There's a bookstore in Philadelphia. I was trying to buy a book out of here that I already had home, three of them. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna go in close on this bookstore. You can't even buy a book out of here. Look what it says: loan. These are the only books that's for sale. What bookstore do you know loan books out? Look, can't make this up. I'm in a bookstore. That's truly I, revolutionary. No, this is a European that's owned this bookstore. But I'm going oh, to keep zooming in so y'all can see it. I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to see if y'all can see what I can see. I'm going to point in a certain section right here. Right here. I told him I would never loan a book out. So right here. Do y'all see it yet? <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna make one better. I'm gonna give you the third shelf down. I couldn't even buy this book, straight up. I couldn't buy the book. Do you see what I see yet? Let me see if I can close, go in closer. Yeah, put it uh, full screen maybe. It is full screen. I can't go no closer. There, go right there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this third row, first book, all right? So let me show you what book that is. Bear with me for one second. And Mo, if you don't have this book, I know Underground Bookstore has it. I'm going to show you the book that I was trying to buy it. And he said he's not selling it. Damn, that was vicious. Let me show you something. That book right there. Du Bois. And in this book, I have two of them home, right? Speaks about the Moors all up in there. <laughs> so that's W.E.B. Du Bois. I have the hard copy of this book home and I got the soft copy. That book is in his bookstore. That's his bookstore right there. The world in Africa. That's the boy's mm -hmm. book. So he said he wasn't selling the book. Damn. Well, I was like, yo. And that whole book, it talks about the Moors too. But that's not even the kicker. I was finished. Go ahead, bro. I imagine that was in his later years. When he, yeah. Yeah. when he woke up, you, you eventually wake up. So let me show you when I went to University of Penn. This is University of Penn. Look at this. I can't make and I want you, I'm, I'm giving y'all this for a reason. I want y'all to pay attention. This is at the University of Penn. They got more books and, and then they had it Howard. <laughs> but look, no, but seriously, look what section this is in. Native American Hispanic, right? Native so American bear Hispanic. with me. Look, I'm going I'm to zoom in on something. Look, cool. look, you see what's in here? Can y'all see what's in there? Look at, the look at the bookshelf. You see Cuba? Yeah, two of them. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I see Cuba, yeah. Fire, right? So let me show you. I can't make this up. This is at University of Penn bookstore, right? So bear with me. I'm in here today. I'm tripping in this joint. I, I said, yo, our bookstores is whack as hell. So this is the this is a book, right? Aboriginals. That was under Native American. Bear with me. That's under Native American. Aboriginal, right? 
and Mo or Yoel, y'all should get this book too. Why am I saying this? This is in the University of Penn. This is why they are more advanced than we are because we go into nigger schools. Aboriginals, mm. right? So bear with me. This is the crazy part. That was under the Native American part, right? And I might go back and buy the book tomorrow. I'm not sure. But the way my bank account is set up, I don't know. With me, I'm going to show you on the inside of this book. This is the book right here. Aboriginal, right? And guess what they talk about in here? Give me one second. Let's go closer. It speaks What's about Cuba. Word? It speaks about Cuba, too. All in here. Canada. America, right? All this is in here. Oh, I didn't put that page up here. But it speaks about Cuba inside here, too. Right? Look, mm -hmm. you see what it says? Turtle Island? <laughs> Who wrote this motherfucker? Turtle Island. All the way down here, I can't highlight it. The place such as Turtle Island. This is in side oh. that book, the Aboriginal Indigenous, right? So bear with me. Who is writing this information? Let me show y'all. Now I'm gonna take you to another book. Remember, I told you about the word Indians, right? Let me take mm -hmm. y'all this book called Early Spanish Maine. Early Spanish Maine, right? Look what it says in Early Spanish Maine. Who were the first Indians? This is Aboriginals. Now remember, this is something totally different. This is book is called early spanish maine the first people to be called indians were called as cubans haitians puerto ricans jamaicans and the bahamas hmm. this is the hidden history right here that is the african conditions of the islands so all of these people that we keep bickering about and arguing about it's all you this is why we know nothing about Langston Hughes talking about Moors being used as pawns in Spain. Out of everything dealing with Langston Hughes, right? We're not talking about this article came out in 1937. 1937. In the Afro-American newspaper. But we smart, though. Damn, I ain't mean to be on here this goddamn long, man. I hope y'all... Pass the plate around, goddamn. But let me see if I can find something else in the African section. Let's find it. Let's find the African American section. Can I print that one up? Here it is. This is the African American section. I can't make this up. No. Damn, did I print it up here? I hope I did, man. Give me one second. Noble, you're going to laugh in a minute, brother. Seriously, you're gonna laugh if I if I did did I do it? Ah uh, damn, hold on one second, bro. Give me one second. Let me see if I can pull it up. So there's a section, an African American section in here, right? And guess what book they had up there? They had that guy that got killed by the cop. Which one? Oh here, go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna print it up here now. Give me one second. Can't make this up. George Floyd. Why would this? Why would that be in there? I'm, I'm gonna try to understand what's happening. I'm great. I'm great to show you it. In one second. Here we go. This is the African American section. <laughs> so you talking about Howard right now? That, hey, Marcus. I told you to go buy this book, brother. Eighty fifty six. No, this is actually at University of Penn. Okay. The same store. I was at today. This is this is the um this is the African American section. I can't make this up. Whatever that is. I asked the lady what was that when I went into another store. <laughs> He's like, Seriously, I did. I really did. I really want to know. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm really not trying to be funny. Now that's a dead serious question. See if I can find it. Give me one second. So here's this is this is the African American section right here. You need y'all should stop getting mad at me and get mad at these people that's putting this information out here to y'all. That's what y'all should be getting mad at. But let me show you. Hold up.
This is it right there. You see what section that is? Look, a slave, George Floyd, Martin Luther King. I can't make this a look. This is the African American Studies Group part. I swear, I'm, I can't make this up, yo. Black joy. <laughs> I can't make this mother free. What history is in this mug? This is at the University of Penn, but everybody else dealing with nationality while we over here talking about George Floyd. What the hell George Floyd got to do with this? It's like every, y'all don't get it, man. <laughs> we out to lunch, brother. I don't, this is like, I love my people. So please, if you want it, this is a hell of a book to get. I'm going to be real with y'all. Please get with my sister Mo. Get with this sister on here. She's on the feed. She can give you all the details. She has only three books there. If you can't get it from her, please get it from my brother Yoel at the Underground Bookstore. Because we are the original Arabs. If you want to have a conversation on that, I can have a conversation on that while I'm on the East Coast. If you want to have a conversation about slaves at Harvard, we can have that conversation. If you want to have a conversation on Dred Scott case, we can have that conversation. Y'all can please email me at knowledge versus knowledge versus 2023 at gmail.com or Sabir Bay Radio. Please stop trying to argue with me back and forth. Just go get your scholars, share this video, let them know I'm still in Philadelphia, and we can make anything happen if y'all want to make it happen. But please don't forget this though before we go. Please don't forget to support at Cash App Dollar Sign Sabir Bay. I shouldn't have to keep repeating this or PayPal Sabir. Anything about slavery that you want to know about, we can rock out. And have fun. We can have fun. I gave y'all two hours of non-stop fire. I didn't even play no damn music like that, but I gave you non-stop fire. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this. Did I do a good job before I go? Please email me. I'm in Philly. Let's get it popping. Support the young brother. That wants to make this happen because he wants to do something up at the bookstore. Okay. Hold on one second. Where's my joint at? But I thank y'all. Did I do good, brother? Hold on. Before we start, did I do good? Is it worth something? Can I? One hundred percent. Did I? Did I lie to you? Did I mislead you on something? This I'm just asking for a friend. Hey, what's up, niece? I love you. So I'm up. I miss you. Yeah, I miss mm. you too, babe. Call me. I'm in my niece. I, I love my nieces, man. I like my. I love my nieces. I got some beautiful nieces, man. So I thank y'all so much, man. And again, this is what your brother Sabir Bay do. This is my job. I also produce and. Just this is what I do. So please don't try to play me, baby. It's not going to work. I thank y'all. So make sure y'all pass the plate around before I go. And shop with my sister Mo at Nick Brooklyn. And shop with my brother Yoel at the Underground Bookstore. Support the brothers. That's at ACAP. Keep it real. Let's go. Gotta go. Thank you, my brother. Thank appreciate you, you beloved. Thank you, my brother Darren. I appreciate y'all so much, but I gotta go. Peace, man. Don't go to where yet. Rock out with me. Some good shot, my niggas on the scene. Brooklyn, that's rock. You know how it is once the weather get hot. Got the tanks on your mind, and nigga, why not? The mommies got sweets like a candy shop. They be young and they pretty with them candy tops. They be young and they pretty and they can't be stopped. Shit, I'm young and I'm pretty, baby, can't be rock. Of course, you make me go hard, you're so soft. Your Louis clutch and your lip look. Oh, I gotta say goodnight to my children. Good night, Aja. Good night, Eben. Oh, my son be here in a few minutes. But anyway, rest in peace, my son Amir. Your shoes and top is so bold. You're so close. So of course, I know you want to rock with me. The black D A N T E. The Mr. Most Definitely. Oh, we should feel free. 
streets that get close oh, I know me better I like how I feel when I have oh, to together And just go together Let's just go together When the beat go off, we can go out Put the plan out, do the dance now Push your hands out, get it back yeah. yeah, yeah, mama, that's how huh. Sing it back out don't say I never did nothing for you. Don't say that most never put something on you. Ah, oh, fuck it. Say what you want, niggas. Like it and love it. Hate if you want, niggas. Sun and moon, it's how it's going on, niggas. June to June, I get it till it's gone, niggas. Told you that nobody else does it like this on YouTube. From Project Bricks to Porsche and Front Lawn, niggas. To Miles to Dads to every one of y'all, niggas. America, don't be straight jumping off. And your DJ got to play that song. Put it on, but you. New York City, I know it's been a long winter. This is the moment you've been waiting for all winter. And all spring, now the summer come. Get on flash, spin it cash, glass bubbled up. Get on mass in the dance, and they huddled up. Young ends in the mix, lights down, doubled up. So beautiful, it's troublesome. And when it's gone, you can't wait for another one. I'm saying. It come back like Thank you. 